In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to use sideload me to sideload any IPA on your iOS device. With this method, you can sideload wireless, meaning you don't even need to connect your cable. So before starting, make sure your iOS device and your computer are in fact connected to the exact same network. And so now we can proceed with the next step. You're going to open up any browser, I would say Chrome, and then open up the Sideloadly website, which will be in the description down below. And once you guys get onto this page, you guys can read all this information here. Here is a comprehensive list of all the features there are. So for example, you guys can use JIT, you can drag and drop IPAs, and there's multiple install options. I would highly recommend you guys read this since this is pretty important and it lets you know what your sideloading tool can do. And so if you guys just click on download here or scroll down, you should see all of the download links here. And so now what we have to do is pretty much just download sideloading for what we have. So I'm just going to click on download here since I have Windows 64 bit and you guys can see it's downloading here and what we need to do now is also install itunes and icloud this is a key thing and without these two it will not work so what you guys need to do is just click on these two links as well and you guys should see these setups here and so obviously you guys can just click on these setups and go through all the setups and get that done with however there's two things that you guys need to do specifically one for iCloud and one for iTunes. So once you guys have set up iTunes, you're going to search it up here and make sure that it is in fact open. And from here, what we're going to do is we're going to click on account here and we need to first sign in and then we can start authorizing. So there are two things we need to do in here. So we first sign in. And once you guys have signed in, you're also going to click authorize this computer where you'll be prompted to redo everything here. So go to authorize, authorize this computer and re-enter in your details. Obviously, since I've done this already, my computer will will be authorized. But for you guys, it'll say your computer has been authorized. There's one out of five computers that you can now authorize. So just click on OK. And now we need to do essentially the same thing for the iCloud setup. So we're just going to click on this little arrow here. And as you guys can see, iCloud is here. You can just click on that here and it should say sign in over here. So you guys can just sign in. And once you guys have done that, you guys can now open up the side loadly exe. So you're going to simply just go back into Chrome or File Explorer. It doesn't really matter. Click on the side loadly setup and you'll be prompted to this page here. Click on next and click on next install. And as you guys can see, Sideloadly has now been set up. Make sure that these two are selected. You guys click finish here. And so now you guys should see the Sideloadly interface pop up. And again, since I've done this already, my email ID and my device will show up. But for you guys, it'll say no device selected. Like this over here, as you guys can see, it says no device detected. So what we're gonna need to do is essentially just connect our iDevice to the computer. And as you guys can see, once you guys connect your iDevice, it'll show up USB at USB here. And if you click on this little arrow here, you guys will see two options. One is at USB and the other is Wi-Fi. So what this means is you guys can either sideload with a cable or you guys can sideload over Wi-Fi. And I highly recommend sideloading over Wi-Fi since it's a hundred times better. You guys don't even need to have a cable on you to sideload. And it also allows for refreshing wirelessly without even needing to click anything. So what you guys are going to do is just going to click Wi-Fi over here. And I do want to know one thing. If you're downloading Sideloadly for the first time, it may also ask for administrative permissions. So make sure that you guys do give administrator user control. And then you're going to need to enter in your Apple ID. Again, you can just enter that in here. Mine is already here because I've already used Sideloadly before. So if you guys just click on this little icon here, you'll see auto refresh. And right now it's disabled. And if you guys click this button over here, you essentially enable auto refresh. And like I said before, it'll automatically reinstall or side load before seven days. And that will essentially prevent any revokes without you needing to do it. For example, if you were to use a side store, then you would need to turn on Stoves VPN go back into the side store app and then refresh from there. But for this, it'll automatically refresh as long as your computer and your iPhone are on the same Wi-Fi. 
So what you guys need to do now is just click on this little IPA icon here and you guys can just click on any IPA for this video. I'll be using old OS and now you guys can just click start here and you guys can just click on this little button here to expand the status history. And so now if you guys click start, make sure that your device is in fact unlocked and you will need to put in your Apple ID password. And trust me, this is 100% safe. It's just like old store side store, all these, even Scarlet asked for it. Trust me, this is all safe. So you guys can enter that in. And as you guys can see, it is now signing. And you guys can see even how many app IDs I have remaining on this developer profile here. And as you guys can see, there is also 7% left. So it'll even tell you the percentage amount left. And do note that this does take quite a while. This is not like a 10, 12 second thing. And now as you guys can see, it is finally starting to sideload and make sure that your device is on. If your device is off, it will mess with the process. So make sure that your device is on at all times here. And as you guys can see, my app has now successfully been sideloaded for me. And so I'll switch over to my iPhone here. And on my iPhone, you guys can see that my IPA is in fact here. And so now if you guys do click on the IPA, you will get an untrusted developer prompt. So what you're going to need to do is just go to settings and then in settings, you're going to go into general VPN and device management. And then you obviously will need to trust it from there. It'll just say trust. And then your Apple ID over there in VPN and device management. So you're just going to need to click on trust and then you guys can open your app. So I've already done that since the email address I use was also linked to the side store and I still have side store on my phone. And so what I mean is in general over here, you're gonna need to scroll down until you guys see VPN and device management. And then you're just gonna click on your email obviously and then those it'll say a little prompt like trust. You guys can just click on that. And if you just swipe out of settings, you can now open up the old OS app and everything works just like it should if you click allow slide to unlock you guys can see old os over here and it's just recently been updated and it's a lot smoother and i highly recommend that you guys do download this it's really sick and they've updated everything so it looks a little bit more newer and so if you guys want to see the video for that it'll be in the top right anyways i hope this video helped if it did please leave a like and subscribe if you guys have any questions or any errors then leave them in the comments down below i'll try my best to answer them and thanks for watching